Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just setting up my computer, just bear with me a moment. Oh, come on internet, do your thing. Refresh. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Have I got a few people watching? I do. I'm just going to uh, wait a couple of moments for a few people to tune in. Just um, give me good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Linda. How are you all this morning? Good morning, Elizabeth. I'm not going to do go through and do a roll call because we know how annoying that is. So welcome to Monday. I hope that you all had a lovely, relaxing weekend. I know I did, which was which was great. Linda's a little excited, I see. I am very excited. Good morning, Jeanette. Morning, Tony. Uh, a little bit excited as well to show you the new Lindy's Sifters. This is a product that I could not wait to show you. We are very, very excited um, to release this. And, and of course, it's a limited edition product being bought out by Lindy's as well. So that means that you need to, they're not going to be reproduced again. Uh, and that is due to a couple of reasons. So... That is due to the fabulous little containers that they're in and um, they are really cool. So just to let you know, of course, you can find them online at nataliemay.com.au and you will find them there while we have them available. So jump onto that today. All right, here we go. These are the brand new magical uh, sifters so let me get them all out and i will talk through our our colors and talk a little bit about and do some demos have a bit of a play with them and talk to you about why these guys are a little different all right there we go so we have got 10 great colors so starting off with we've got jellyfish sting pink Great names. Sea turtle teal. Moray eel mint. Moray eel mint. <laughs> I know, I'm going to stumble through this this morning. Uh, starfish foot fuchsia. Clownfish coral. Parrotfish purple. Yellow tang yellow. Octopus Eyes Aqua, Sea Anemone Amethyst, <laughs> Manta, <laughs> say that with a glass of wine, it's a bit early, but I'll give it a go, Manta Ray Grey. So these colours are divine. Uh, let's have a bit of a look through and I will now show you some of the, the samples that I have created. Welcome to all of you just tuning in. I am um, super excited to be showing you the new Lindy's Sifters. Okay, actually let's talk about why they're called the Lindy's Sifters first of all. So these are a awesome little pot, okay? They are a beautiful little pot of the Magicals powder. So just a simple reminder, Magicals are bought out by Lindy's Stamp Gang. Lindy's Gang have been in business around the world for over 25 years. They are well and truly established in the industry. Lindy's bring out a few different products. They bring out an amazing embossing powder. They bring out some awesome sprays. And they also bring out Magicals in a shaker as well as a pot. You can buy them in sets. Uh, you can buy these as singles, a few of these different colours as singles. You can buy them as sets. 
These are the Magical Shakers. They are available as singles. And then these are the new sifters, which I have available online as singles, or you can just grab all 10. So what is the difference between these three products? They are all magicals. So magicals are a pigment dye-based powder. So the pigment means they are fuller color. The dye means that they have an awesome permanency to them and they stain your paper. They, are, they have that really, really cool permanent uh, application to them. And then the powder means that you need to activate them to make that magic happen. So these are the three different sorts that you can get. The sifters, where they are new and unique is because they have three little holes, which is not showing up very well on camera, but they have three holes here to allow you to shake out the powder. Let me see if I can bring it right up to camera. There we go. You can see those three little holes there. Perfect. So that is what makes these 10 sifters here awesome. The shakers, which are exactly the same product, just of course in a different container. This has, I think, 28 different colors available and has two ways that you can apply it to your project. You can use the shaker. So it has six holes there and has a lot more come out of that container. Or you can have the scoopy side, my technical term, which allows you to get a lot more out onto your project. And then of course, you've got the, the normal Magicals, the, the original Magicals product. And these are just the little pots of Magicals with the open lid like that, okay? So it's just all about the application for you. Now, a couple of other little things. This container here holds about half a teaspoon of product, okay? This product here holds three quarters of a teaspoon of product. And then the magical sifters hold the same amount as the shakers, all right? So that's what you're looking at there. Rightio, let's get into it. So this one here is Manta Ray Grey. Manta Ray Grey. Love it. So this is Manta Ray Grey. It is a super gorgeous grey. It is more a blue tone grey, so... Um, it's got a lot of, um, lots of different colors, as you can see here, lots of different colors that come together to create this gray. So when we do the sprinkle and spritz technique, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, you can see all of these beautiful colors that come out to create gray. And this is what we look like here when they are painted onto the project. So that one is Manta Ray Gray. Next, we have Sea Turtle Teal, which is this one here. And Sea Turtle Teal looks like this. So really, really nice. It has got, as you can see, all these little uh, pops of yellow through here and green. So to create this color, they need quite a few different shades and combinations to get this lovely teal. Okay, so that is Sea Turtle Teal. Next, we have Octopus Eyes Aqua. What's the matter? Oh, it's just, it looks, in real life, it looks more shimmery. Than it is so yeah, much more shimmery. Not, not is it not showing up, up on no. camera as shimmery? All right, I will I'll focus on the shimmer. So Octopus Eyes Aqua. So Octopus Eyes Aqua is really, really that lovely. It's a much lighter, more baby blue. Now, something that Louise just pointed out is that these have all got a shimmer to them that is really just not showing up very well on camera, but they all have a beautiful mica That's to it. them. There we go. I need to give them a little bit yeah. of a jiggle, do I? Yeah, jiggle. Jib <laughs> <laughs> give it a jiggle. All right, so there we go. So Octopus Eyes Aqua is more of a blue tone. Stunning, stunning. Okay, Moray Eel Mint. Mint. <laughs> Oh, mint. mint. This is a unique colour. I have not seen Lindy's do anything like this one. I love it. So this has got a gorgeous shimmer to it as well, as you can see. Can you see? 
No, a little bit. Um, and yeah, really gorgeous. It's got a nice blue undertone to it. Right, where are my purple people? Parrotfish purple. Let's have a look here. This colour is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Really, it's got some lovely depth to it. It is a really, really lovely deep purple. Totally love it. And then there's also sea anemone amethyst. Gosh, I'm really having to concentrate this morning on this, aren't I? And let's have a look at that. All right, so what is the difference between sea anemone amethyst and parrotfish purple? Depth. Okay, as you can see, parrotfish purple has a lot more of a red base to it. Sea anemone, anemone amethyst has a blue base to it. So the colours are stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, okay, starfish foot fuchsia. This is a really lovely fuchsia, almost crimson sort of look to it. Absolutely gorgeous really gorgeous shimmer and they've got a super duper high shine to them too okay so there's your your red base uh this jellyfish sting pink is this one here and that is a real baby pink really gorgeous look at that and you can see there i haven't um this big chunk here is where i've just let the uh, the mica sit on top of the paper and haven't activated it as much, so it's a little chunky there. But you can certainly see that that shimmer. Next, we have yellow tang yellow, and that is a more of an orange base yellow, perhaps more of a sunflower sort of style yellow. Um, it's got incredible depth to it. Actually, it is really really pretty. And I think that this one might be my favourite, this clownfish coral. Um, clownfish coral is stunning, absolutely stunning, as you can see. And you can see it's got a little shimmer to it as well. Yeah. Thank you, Naomi. Naomi's just commented saying, you remind me of Nemo trying to say anemone. Yeah. <laughs> I am really, really focusing on my pronunciations today so all right so they're the 10 colors they all have a shimmer to them so they all have this gorgeous mica so let's see if i can bring it up to camera so you can capture it isn't that amazing so good righty oh so let's just pop those babies aside and let's start making a little mess what do you say so for those of you just tuning in, I'm having a little play today with the new Lindy's sifters. So these are the new magical sifters. They are a limited edition run. They are only available for a short time because they are, the sifter containers are no longer available. So they are our great colors there. How do we use them? All right, let's get into it. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna introduce you to something that you totally need to have in your life that helps significantly when it comes to using something like this. And that is these sticky grid sheets by Sizzix. Um, Tim Holtz has bought some out and um, Sizzix have bought some out and they are a A5 type sheet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've already cut one down, but I'm going to cut this one down to be the same size as my, actually, I'm just going to do a, a segment. And what they are is a piece of double-sided tape, I guess, um, but low tack, which means that I can peel it off and it is sticky so it will help my it'll help my paper not curl so as you can see I'm peeling off the other side and I'm going to stick it to my mat my non-stick mat 
so that I can do, no, because it's a non-stick mat. It does work really well on my glass mat, but because my glass mat will give you guys too much reflection, I decided to do it this way. Okay, parrotfish purple, let's start with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm gonna tap my color straight on there like that. Pop the lid back on, because that's how I roll. And then I'm gonna activate this color with my fancy water spray here. Fancy Adelaide water, nothing special. And as you can see, let's bring that camera up just a little closer. Oops. Uh, Linda's just commenting, commenting, are they reusable? They do hold their stick, but I don't reuse mine because I'm lazy. Um, okay, so you can see what's happened is I activate that. We are good to go. But it did stop my paper from curling. Um, it does work great on my glass mat. Is it going to work on here today? I do not know. Right, one done. Another bit of paper. I'm just using Kaisercraft cardstock. Nothing fancy today. Uh, simply because I've just got some offcuts. See how easy that comes out of those little holes there? Is that on camera? Sorry, guys. I didn't realise. There we go. Um... So, sea anemone amethyst. So I've got my water spray straight on top. I'm not going on a sideways sort of motion here because I don't want it to, um, to, to go everywhere. I'm trying to keep my mess in the one spot. I do believe the lovely Jennifer Maguire used these sticky sheets not all that long ago in a video. So, um, Moray Eel Mint. Let's get these guy, this one on. Activate. So what else can I do with this? Uh, in a moment, I will have a bit of a play and do some other bits and pieces and show you. Oh, love that. So you can see how all the pigments coming together and creating a beautiful colour of mint here. And we've also got this lovely speckle going on here that Lindy's give out as well because it hasn't activated in that area. Righty oh, let's go with Manta Ray Grey. Now, as you can see, I've got a little residual on the top here. So it's kind of clumping and there we go. And that's just because I threw them in a container and didn't store them flat. Put that lid back on. So it doesn't look anything at all fabulous until we add the water. Now, because manta ray grey is grey is not necessarily a colour, is it? It's a tone of lots of colours mixed together. So this is a perfect example of what happens when you don't activate at all. So now I just need to get a bit more water onto that grey and then I've got a colour that looks amazing. All right, so my sticky mat is not sticking to my craft mat. It is clearly awesome for more of a slick surface. So now you can see... As I'm getting all of that water together, I've got an, a beautiful grey. Oh, you know, one of those days. Um, okay, let's go with Octopus Eyes Aqua. Okay, so Linda's just asked a question. Um, now, I've got quite a lot of powder pulled up on here, so I'm just going to... Sift that onto there. So Linda's just asked the question. Uh, the area that doesn't activate, can that be activated later after the rest has dried? What happens later, for example, where is one that I have got a chunk on? I had it on here before. For example, see here with this bit where it hasn't activated what it actually is it's the mica and it it will only activate maybe 10 percent so you do really do need to activate it or that powder is just going to to rub off but as you can see 
if I'm rubbing that now, and I'm giving it a fair old amount, a fair old rub, okay, I'm not really getting much on my finger at all. So you do need to activate where possible. All right, so this one is Octopus Eyes Aqua. Love that. Next one. We have got Sea Turtle Teal. Just getting that on there. Activate. Oh, that's beautiful. See that magic happening? Love it. And what isn't showing up on camera, unfortunately, is that shimmer. That is amazing. All right, let's go with yellow tang yellow. Now you can see that I'm actually going down quite close to my powder as well. And that's because I really want to add water to activate it. I don't want to mess around with um, trying to get it to activate from afar. I want to commit to it and get it activated. So Clownfish Coral, let me give you a bit of an example here. So I've got my powder on there. And if I go up really high, like for example, I'm about 20 centimetres away from my spray. Um, let me just do that on camera. Not much really happens. But if I come down, I'm about that far away. I need to activate it like I mean it, okay? It's just water. Love that. I'm just putting them aside to, to dry, just off camera. Got two more left to show you. This is, let me do Starfish Foot Fuchsia. Oh, that's so pretty. And last but not least is Jellyfish Sting Pink. And that's a lot. <laughs> Oops. All right. So I'm left here with a big chunk that I need to get in and activate. And I'm just letting it pull and dry. I'm not doing much more with that. And then I've got all this magic left here. So let's utilize that. I've just got a couple of off cuts of card. So this is all the colors mixed together. And because obviously there was a bit more overflow with purple than any other color, we get purple. It's like hundreds and thousands. Huh. Let's throw that on the floor. All right. So what I'd like to do next is just have a little bit of a play with using them another way. And that is where we can make up a little puddle. So there's, I can either put them in a, in a well like this and activate them. But what I might do is just put them on, I've got some water here just off camera. I'm just going to put them on my mat. So one shake down like that. And you can see that there's a little bit here on my mat. So now I've just got my paintbrush and I'm just gonna grab it and now I can I can color more water. So the more water you add, the more the pigment spreads out. And I can make this to be any color I like. All right, so that one of course is our manta ray gray. 
Okay, so in a moment, I'll put that aside to dry and when, once they're dry, I will show you in a moment how well they come up. And then I'm just gonna wipe that clean and I've used most of it there, so that's really great. Um, clownfish coral, just a quick tap with my fingernail on the back. So I've done that one and that one. Rinse my brush. When you bring all that pigment together, And of course, it's much lighter because I'm only adding a small amount of pigment. Beautiful. Clean off my area so I don't mix the colors together. Yellow, tang, yellow. So I'm using the same amount each time to make up a much lighter shade rather than a vibrant. Spreading it out, grab it. Spread it. So this is where magicals become super awesome. You can control the amount of color that you're going to be using on your project. Wipe that up. Right, that one on there. Rinse my brush. So this one is the Jellyfish Sting Pink. So, and of course, I am using my stamp from the Just Be Kind stamp set by Natalie May Scrapbooking. You can get that online under products by Natalie May. So there we go. We've got those ones. Uh, Starfish Foot Fuchsia. So this is just showing you another way to use... The Lindy's Magicals. It is, Alana's just commented, can you, uh, much easier to use. Um, yeah, the sifters are fantastic. They're really, really easy to use. So that was the Starfish fish, Starfoot Fish Fuchsia. Uh, and Tonio, Tony's just asked the question, can the sifter piece be pulled out of the container? Good question, I haven't looked. Yeah, you can gently take that sifter out if you need to. Now this one here, um, as you can see, my powder's got a little bit, um, there's a bit more in here that I want to use. So I'm just going to gently tap a much smaller amount. I got a little bit, um, I got a little bit excited about the sea turtle chill for some reason there. All right, and let's activate it's that. like a makeup powder. What's that? Oh yeah, so yeah. So if I, I can take it out and then put it back in again. Yeah, I can. I I should be able to just sift it back into yeah. those holes and give it a little wriggle. So that one is your sea turtle teal. Um. Now Angela's just asked the question. Uh, what individual colours would you choose to complement the words of wisdom set? Oh my gosh, all of them, darling. They will all go with words of wisdom. Um. And a little bit of this one. Now I'm only going to put a little bit on my mat here, of course, because I did get over anxious here with the Octopus Eyes what Aqua. Brush are you using there? The brush that I'm using here, this is a Montmartre brush. This comes in a set of, I think, three. They have a really low price point. I do love a soft brush like this. It's not quite a, a watercolour brush. They're like an acrylic paint brush. You'll find them in the tools section on Natalie May Scrapbooking. It is my... This brush here is a number 12 and it has got that lovely soft point. And I do like something that holds a bit of, or a decent amount of liquid. So then I can control how what's coming, um, what's coming out. So 99% of the time, I will use a brush like this when using Magicals. So there's quite a few different ones available on the website. Um, Louise, are you in a position that you can l pop a link in the comments to the paintbrushes, the Montmartre paintbrushes, please, love? Sure. So this one is that parrotfish purple. So of course I'm showing you what happens when we when we dissolve all of those pigments together. Holy moly, that's gorgeous. Um, so we can use them in a few different ways. Let's have a look at sea anemone amethyst.
lid back on. Oh, this is a, such a clever colour. This is a colour that I like to make when I'm mixing pinks and blues together. Um, no, what, what would complement words of wisdom? I actually think that um, the words of wisdom set, I mean, you could add a pink because there is no pink in my words of wisdom set. Adding a pink or a mint um, and perhaps the manta ray grey would be fantastic um, if you wanted to purchase as a single. Um, which brings me to my next point. Currently uh, on nataliemay.com.au, you will find these on the home page individually for nine dollars each, uh, or you can get the set of ten for eighty-five dollars fifty. So we've done a bit of a, a special for you, so that you can get them at this fantastic price. Radio. So that is that mint. There we go. So we've got amethyst, we have got parrotfish purple, we have got clownfish coral, uh, octopi <laughs> octopus eyes, octopies, octopies eyes, octopus eyes, aqua, sea turtle teal, and they all have a stunning shimmer that's sitting on top. And Starfish Foot Fuchsia, Jellyfish Sting Pink, Yellow Tang Yellow, Manta Ray Grey. So there is a few little projects, a few little swatches. Um, love that. Let me just pop those aside. And what I'm going to do, just while my swatches that I did earlier are drying, is I thought I might quickly make, show you something that you can do with them. What I have got here is my Myrtle die. The die that uh, Natalie May Scrapbooking, you'll find that in the die section on the website. Um, and I'm going to, so I have die cut. This is a lovely layering die. And I'm going to, and I might actually just do this on my puppy training pad here in the background so that it soaks up some of this excess colour I'm about to sprinkle on. So I just want to do a little, a little sifting on here. So I've got parrotfish purple. And then I'm just going to pop it aside and I'm not activating it very much. So you can see all of those pigments are not coming together too much. So the more water you add, the more the pigment's going to come together and then the the more you're going to get a solid colour. When you activate it and just add it with a few sprays, oh, you get that sort of blotchy, splotchy, um, freckled look that we love. And this one's going to have a bit of colour from the leftover from the pad there, but that's okay. Love it. Um, let's just soak up some of that excess with some paper towel. Just because I want to do the yellow next and I want it to be a true yellow. There we go. And then I'm going to pop a layering die that I've also cut over the top of this in a second. And then we can have a look and see about set, like, like creating something amazing to put on a card front or on a scrapbook layer. So while that's wet, I'm just moving it around like that to get more of a um, distribution of color. And like I said earlier, I'm just using the plain Kazercraft cardstock. Okay, I'm not using anything fancy or special. Um, the different sorts of paper that you use does play a big part in how it it reacts as well. So for example, if you are using a paper that has a, like it's highly absorbent, um, say for example, just like, you know, computer paper, the, the color's not gonna spread around very much. So you need to think about the, the absorbency 
the absorbency of the cardstock. Now, what I love about the manta ray grey is it, it's got this lovely navy blue in it. So if I mix it together, that navy blue kind of disappears and it becomes more of a grey. I do love that. But if you're wanting something a little bit more perhaps blue, like deep dark blue, just don't activate it as much. So this one is the Sea Anemone Amethyst. I'm just exhausted from pronunciations this morning. And like I said earlier, for those of you who are just tuning in, these are the Lindy's brand new sifters. And the sifters have only just been released on Saturday uh, American time, so yesterday here in Australia. And you can, they're a limited edition, so the colours are also limited edition. I'm trying to sweet talk the boss into getting... seeing if they're going to come out again as an extended release, but at the moment, it doesn't look that way. Moray Mill Mint. Good morning, Chloe. Welcome. Oh, and for those of you just tuning in, you know you can watch this back anytime. So it's going to be saved onto the Facebook page, and I'm also going to upload it onto my YouTube channel. So you'll be able to jump on and go back and watch it as well. Um, all right, so Octopus Eyes Aqua. Oh, this is the one that I got a bit over overexcited with earlier. And clearly overexcited now as well. <laughs> In fact, I'm just going to use my wet paintbrush and I'm going to take that and I'm going to spread it around a bit more because I can do that because I have the power. Rightio. I'm going to dry these off now with my heat tool very quickly and what happens of course is that water is just going to evaporate leaving the color out on my on my little um, die cut maybe I should start with the one over here that I started with so there you go you will find these all on nataliemay.com.au and we have a awesome range of Lindy's available as well so you can get sprays, you can get magicals, you can get embossing powders. There's quite a few things that you can do. Um, what you can also do with the powders is add them to modeling paste or acrylic paint or a gel medium to make up your own, make up your own um, texture paste you don't need to buy all the fancy texture pastes you can mix them with anything and because they have a dye quant a, a dye to them because lindy's are a pigment dye based powder you will be able to it's going to have a permanence to it it's not going to come off on your projects um, the only thing that these are not really designed to do is go into a spray bottle because they have a binder in them that will bind like it'll make your nozzle clog up and then um, it makes you swear like a truck driver because you can't get it out of your out of your spray bottle all right so they're really not designed to put into a magicals are not designed to be put into a spray bottle okay radio and just drying off this last one so just be aware, if you are using a puppy training pad in the background, like I'm doing here, um, heat on it, putting heat on it, of course, is going to melt your puppy training pad, which is not ideal. And burn your fingers. So let's have a look at what we have done here. Can we see these guys? Look at that. And then, because I've got a layering... A layering stamp a layering die sorry I'm going to use no, I've just got a bit of paper here so this is the art by Marlene's multi glue which is my favorite glue love it <sighs> here we go now I think right I'm going to use the layering the top layering piece so this is the top of the um, the die so the myrtle die comes as a two-piece die 
and I'm just going to pop a little bit here and here. And layer over the top. I've got one. And then we have this one is the amethyst. And do we not love their names? So tell me what your favourite colours are so far. So this is the anemone. <laughs> I've done it again. The sea anemone am amethyst. And now we've got the mint, which is moray eel mint. Here we go. That goes onto there. How good does it look as this beautiful flower? Um, I've got another one. So I've just run these through on my die cutting machine uh, and popped them. And they're all on Kaiser Craft cardstock, just nice and simple. It's got a low GSM weight and it just seems to take the colour pretty good. So currently we have them as a bundle price of $58, sorry, $85.50 uh, for all 10 colors in a bundle. Uh, you can also get them as single colors. So I see that Linda loves the, uh, she loves all of them, who am I kidding? Michelle, of course, you do love the purples. Bless your cotton socks. So if you want to, you could just purchase the purple by itself. Um, and they are $9 on nataliemay.com.au while stocks last. So you singing then? I was not singing then, thank you, Louise. <laughs> at, no, <laughs> at no point does anybody need to hear me singing on a Monday morning. Now I'm just being lazy and putting the glue on here. And this grey, can we just take a moment to see how well that grey is dried up? And can you see the shimmer? Hang on, is it showing up on camera? Oh yeah, there's a little shimmer there. So if you are in Adelaide uh, and you would like to pop in and purchase direct, put your hands on it, have a look at these samples in purpose. Um, in purpose. Oh my gosh, in person, you are more than welcome to do so. We are open here at uh, Seaforth Avenue, Avenue Summerton Park from 10 to 3, Monday to Friday. Of course, we are not going to be open on this coming Thursday, the National Public Holiday, but every other day of the week. Um, and Lou, can you tell me? No, don't worry. I've got it here in front of me somewhere. The next Saturday that I'm open. I actually think I'm open this coming Saturday. I can't read. Can you can you can you make that magic happen? So if you wanted to pop in on a Saturday as well and have a bit of a bit of a chat, I'd love to see you. Twenty-fourth? This Saturday, the twenty-fourth. You will find me here in the studio from ten till two. Ten till two. Alright. Let's have a look at some of these beautiful things. We have got this guy here. So you can see just with a simple die over the top. Okay, the layering die is stunning. Dun, dun, dun. Let's lay them all out in my, on my screen. Okay, oh, super pretty. And I don't stick my dies down edge to edge because, you know, that's boring. Manta ray grey. I think manta ray, may gray, manta ray gray might be my favorite. Um, and it's just gonna change every time I use it. The mint's very pretty. Um, that amethyst kind of rocks too. And that coral, oh, well, you know, here we go. And the yellow. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Grand final day. Oh, grand final day is Saturday, isn't it? Oh, sorry guys. Bugger. Um, I tried to turn the camera around. Okay. So there you go. We have got the brand new Lindy's Gang Magical Sifters Limited Edition Sea Turtle Teal Starfish Foot Fuchsia Manta Ray Grey Parrotfish Purple 
Jellyfish Sting Pink. Turn that baby around. Sea Anemone Amethyst. That lid back on. Yellow Tang Yellow. So of course the sifters have got these little holes in the top just to make it nice and easy. And the question was asked before by Tony, can I take this off? Yes, very carefully, I would say. Um, there we go, Co Clownfish Coral. Ba -ba -ba. Moray Mil Moray Mint, <laughs> far out, Moray Eel Mint. <laughs> And octopus, octopus eyes aqua. <laughs> All right. So lots of beautiful samples there for you. All right. There you go. And as, a, as the uh, master educator for Lindy's Gang here in Australia, it's up to me to show you guys all the ways that you can use these and tell you all the things that you need to know. From a company that's been around for over 25 years in the States, they are a small family-run business, still run by the original Lindy's team. Uh, the, or everything is created and packaged in their backyard, on their premises, in their garage. They are not produced and manufactured in China. They are run by real people who are really interested in what you guys are doing with their products, okay? So this is one of the original products that came out 25 years ago. So they know exactly what they're talking about. And that's why I work with Lindy's and you will only find Lindy's magical powders on my website because they're the only pigment powder worth buying in my opinion. All right, so jump online to nataliemay.com.au. We are shipping today and tomorrow. There are limited stocks available, as I mentioned earlier, of the Magicals, $9 for the single pots, $85.50 for a 10 pack, and you will find them online right here. All right, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Um, I've got some packing of orders to do. I hope you are all having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, and I look forward to chatting with you soon. See ya.